Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another live broadcast here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Dr. Mike Prince here with you live from Benham, Texas. It is do or die time for the Wall of Bulldogs. The Bulldogs are in a must-win situation right now as they will be taking on the Brenham Cubs. The Bulldogs came in with three games remaining, need to win only one game in order to secure a playoff spot. Now they find themselves with their backs literally against the wall as they now are in a must-win game. They've lost those last two outings against Magnolia and that in the likes against Willis. So now they'll have to take on the Brenham Cubs, always a tough task, especially here at home for the Cubs. we got our starting lineup. We'll quickly give you that. For the Brenham Cubs, number three will be Kendrian Ray. Number five will be Devin Williams. Number 15 is Darvis Watson. Number 23 will be Lazarus Green. And number 33 will be Matt Adams. For the Bulldogs, you have number two, Corbin Vines. Number five, Philip Prince. Number 21, Jonathan Dorsett Morris. Number 25, Zach Kelsey. Bulldogs coming in with an overall record of 10 and 14, 7 and 6 in district play, while the Brenham Cubs are 12 and 1 in district play, 19 and 12 overall. The Brenham Cubs will be in their home white uniforms. The Bulldogs, of course, in their maroon road uniforms. As the teams get ready, the lineups have been established. We've done our Pledge of Allegiance, and we are moments away from getting started here. The Bulldogs will be going from right to left on the dial as they get ready now to come out for the tip of must win for the Bulldogs on tonight. Coach Earl Claiborne in his sixth season with the Bulldogs. He got to the playoffs four years ago, and there's been a playoff drought ever since the Lady Bulldogs, led by Coach Durham, suffered a defeat last night against Georgetown. We do extend the congratulations to the Lady Bulldogs and their successful run. They had not made the playoffs since 1988. So what a glorious time it was for basketball season here in Bulldog Nation. So right now, we got the tip ready to go. Bulldogs waiting the tip, and uh, control will be by the Cubs. That shot is thrown up and no good by Watson. And we got a quick foul already. First foul called against the Cubs. Just getting on the way here, seven minutes and 53 seconds along the way here as they're trying to identify exactly who the culprit is. And no one to avail. It's going to be inbound for the Cubs. Just want to give the possession back to the Cubs. Cubs rotating, no shot clock in basketball on the high school level. So now the Bulldogs in a 1-2-2 zone look right now, rotating, trying to get the high-low. Adams kicks it back out. Bulldogs rotating. Prince at the point, trying to ward off the Bulldogs. Bulldogs trying to ward off the Cubs, I should say. And they're still working a high-low game, passing the ball around on the perimeter. Nothing major just yet. Now the attack to the Cubs, the dish to the side, the jumper is up. No good. Rebound is secure by the Cubs. Cubs pick up. There's a pick and a steal almost by Prince, but regaining it was Watson. Watson dishes it off to the side, and we got a foul call against the Bulldogs. That's the first team foul to go against the Bulldogs. And it's going to be a shooting foul. Shooting two will be the Cubs, number five, Devin Williams. First free throw is good. And so Williams makes it 1-0, the Cubs on top. Second free throw is good. And it's quickly 2-0, Cubs hitting the first two Possessions. Now a little backward pressure. There's a turnover, and the jumper is good by Adams. Adams makes it now 4 nothing. Brenham steady applying pressure. Bulldogs finally break through the press, going through and tried to get the assist. That was turned over. A turnover by the Bulldogs, and now here come the Cubs coming back on the attack, already leading 4-0 with 6 minutes and 44 seconds here in the first period. Working on the perimeter are the Bulldogs. 
defensively trying to ward off any penetration from the coast. There's a long jumper, good for three from Adams. Adams makes it quickly 7-0, and the Cubs steady applying pressure. This time the pressure is broken. The dish off the Vines. Vines misses the layup, and reaching down out of frustration, Vines will pick up the foul, and Vines picking up his first foul. The first foul went against number 21, Dorsett. So now the Cubs will come back on the attack right now. Going from left to right, another long three-point shot. That was no good. Rebound is going to be secure. France comes up with the rebound as he walks it across the timeline, going from right to left. France setting up the play right now as he now feels some pressure. He puts it all over to Vines. Vines gets it to Charlie Hill, working down low. Now back to Vines for three, and it's good. Charlie Vines nails a three to make it 7-3. Bulldogs trailing the Cubs. Coming back, working. Are the Cubs on the perimeter shot right now? Looking, no one really going there. Gets the Adams at the high post, almost taken away by the Bulldogs, but recovered and working back and forth, slowly but surely going. Or the Cubs not in any kind of hurry right now. As now got it, watching penetrates, kicks it over on the left side. That jumper from mid range is too high, and we got a foul call and it's going to go against the Cubs. That will be the first foul charge to number 23, Lazarus Green. So Green picks up his first foul, five minutes and 16 seconds remaining here in the first period. Bulldogs trailing seven to three. Bulldogs ready to inbound right now. As the inbound will get back in time, getting it up to Prince. Prince slows down. Now he'll walk it across the timeline. Coming across now, Bulldogs set up with the defense. The Cubs in the 1-2-2 zone look. Swings it back up top to Prince. Prince over in the corner to Vines. Vines attack the baseline, goes up off the glass, and gets the basket. Vines with five points, 7-5. Cubs on top of the Bulldogs. Bulldogs coming back across the timeline right now. Bring it across. Is Watson. Watson swings it over to Green. Back up top to Watson. Watson. At the top, being guarded by Prince, he swings it over down low to Adams in the paint, goes up, missed the shot, and the ball goes out of bounds, and it's going to be last touch by the Bulldogs, so it will be a chance for the Cubs to inbound with 4.33. The inbound is in, and that one was over the head of Green, and it will be possession for the Bulldogs. Four minutes and 32 seconds remaining in the first period. Bulldogs trailing 7-5. to five. Prince coming across the timeline now. Crossing over his defender, swings it over to Vines, who attacks the side, goes up. The shot was blocked from behind, and it's going to be possession for the Bulldogs. That ball was blocked out of bounds by number 20, Mc, Emma Henderson, sorry. Working now, Vines penetrates. And lost the handle, falling forward on the ground. His last touch, and that's going to be the Bulldogs' ball. Four minutes and eight seconds remaining here in the first period. 7-5 is our score. Just getting on the way. Must-win situation for the Bulldogs. Prince gets the inbound, and now he's being harassed somewhat by Henderson. Swings it back over to Vines on the far side. Vines looking for some help. And he gets it back up to Prince at the top of the key. Prince attacks the cup, goes up, shoots the shot, draws a foul, and he'll go to shoot two. Prince attacking the cup, and he should go to the line to shoot two as the foul was going to be against Henderson. Henderson picking up his first foul. And now the senior guard, Philip Prince, with an opportunity, and he misses the first shot. Prince over one from the line as he gets ready for a second shot, and that's good. Prince one for two, makes it 7-6. Bulldogs trail with three minutes and 50 seconds. Cubs now on the attack. Working the high-low game are the Cubs. Nothing real major. Gets it to Adam. Adam dishes it down, lost the handle. Prince coming up with it. Prince now pushing the floor, across it over, pulls back to slow up the offense and set things up. 
France pulls back out as the Cubs now. Still showing that 1-2-2 two, two zone look as Charlie Hill lost the handle for a moment. And it's going to go out of bounds. And they're going to say possession for the Cubs. Three minutes and 28 seconds here in the first period. Bulldogs trailing 7-6 to six in a must-win game. We cannot stress the importance of the Bulldogs winning this game. As now the Cubs come back on the attack, going from left to right on the dial. Henderson gets it on the far side, swings it back over, working. Now Henderson shoots a long three, and it's good. Wow. Henderson nails that three to make it 10-6. A backcourt pressure by the Cubs, breaking through the penetration. And time is Vines. Vines swings it over, attacking his door set. Could not get it, and he does get the basket off of Prim in the touch. So Dorsett makes it 10-8. Bulldogs trail the Cubs. Cubs coming back on the perimeter now. Adams got it over to Watson. Watson back up top, swinging it back down to Adams at the post. The attack, the Cubs, and the basket is going to be good for the Cubs. Williams, Williams with his fourth point, makes it 12-8. And now coming, shooting the mid-range jumper is Kelsey. Kelsey misses it, but falling up was Dorsett. Dorsett could not come through with it. And the Bulldogs back on the defense now with two minutes and 15 seconds remaining. In the first, a long three thrown up and nailed. Wow. Watson nails that three to make it 15-8. And coming through, not able to get the layup for the Bulldogs, Dorsett. And the Panthers, I'm sorry, the Bulldogs going back on defense and another jumper by the Cubs missed, but falling up and getting fouled this time will be Adams. He'll go to the line and shoot two. As the Bulldogs lose a composure, that's going to be a foul against Prince. Prince picking up his first foul and going to the line will be Adams to shoot two. And the first one. It's no good. 15 to 8 is our score. Bulldogs trail the Cubs. Adams on his second shot. It's no good, and the rebound picked up by the Bulldogs. So now the Bulldogs still trailing by 7, 15, 8. As Prince gets it across the timeline, going to the left wing, gets it down low. Going up and off the glass, could not get the shot, was Kelsey, and still couldn't get the rebound as it's going to be Hill ends up not being able to get the follow-through. It goes off and out of bounds, and it will be opportunity for the Bulldogs to regain it. Swinging it over, the three-pointer is no good. That one was shot and missed by Pilot and Prince driving through. And they're going to call a foul. The charging against Prince. Prince picks up his second foul. And with one minute, 26 seconds remaining here in the opening period, Bulldogs trailing 15 to 8. Cubs coming back on the attack. Watson swings it across. Now he gets it down low. Good penetration move by Green. And Green is able to get that easy basket. And Green makes it 17 to eight, a long outlet pass over in the corner. P. Lot for three, no good. And his last touch by the Bulldogs. I'm sorry, by the Cubs. And with 104, P. Lot will now leave, and McGrew will come in. McGrew also a three-point shooter. They get it to him in the corner. He gets a shot, looks. It's no good. Rebound is knocked out of bounds by Vines. And it was, what they're going to say, it was last touch by the Cubs. So it will be the Bulldogs with the possession. Collision, get it back up top, and that ball was thrown way back court. And it was last touched by the Cubs, so it will be possession for the Bulldogs. With 55 seconds remaining in the first period, 17 to 8 is our score. You have Adams, who's now in. What we got now, we got Corbin Vines, McGrew, Pilot, Charlie Hill, and Zach Kelsey. Hill handling some of the backcourt. 
He, along with Vines, the jumper thrown up, no good by Vines, and coming up with the rebound are the Cubs. Now with the three-on-two attack, Green attacking the Cubs. Whoa, that ball was thrown away, knocked out of bounds. Great defensive effort by Charlie Hill as it was 35.8 seconds now remaining. Hill with a great defensive stand. The inbound now, Adams shoots the three, and it's no good. Rebound secured by the Bulldogs. Bulldogs coming up, pushing it across the floor now. Will be Vines. Vines looking for some help as he picked up his dribble. Swings it over. Back up top. Over to Hill, who shoots the three, and that's no good. Rebound picked up by the Cubs, and with 13 seconds remaining, the Cubs have a 17-8 lead over the Bulldogs. And Darvis Watson penetrates, kicks it out. The long three is no good. And the rebound picked up by the Bulldogs. And that is going to bring us to the end of the first period. 17 to 8 Cubs after one. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've just completed the first period, Bulldogs find themselves trailing 17-8. to eight. Dr. Mike Prince here with you live from Brenham, Texas, as the Bulldogs now have their starting core back in. Prince receives the inbound from Vines. He gets it back to Vines. Rotating around looking now as Prince works it over to Vines. Vines shoots the three from the left wing. It's no good. Rebound picked up by the Cubs. Bulldogs not finding a shot right now, and they got to put it all together. This is a must-win game for the Bulldogs on tonight. Bulldogs now in a 2-3 zone look, working down low, and that ball was turned over, tried to get it down to Adams, get it back into the possession of Prince as Prince come back to reset up the play. Coach calls up the play. Prince being guarded, picks it back over the heel, heel over to Morris. Morris is going to be called for the travel, and that will be an unforced turnover. For the Bulldogs, seven minutes and 20 seconds remaining here in the first half. Bulldogs still trailing 17 to 8 here at Brenham High School. Live basketball coverage all season long, not only just for high school, but collegiate as well, right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Bulldogs stretching the defense now as coming across. Adams being guarded by Prince. He swings it over into the green. Green back to Adams. Prince checking over. Now the dish down low, kicking back out. The jumper shot thrown up, and a three-pointer is good for the Cubs as nailing that one as I got a turnover. That's going to be a foul. Credited with the three-pointer was number 25, Daniels. Then we got a foul against Daniels as well as he got the three. Reaching in, knocking over Prince. And it will be possession for the Bulldogs. 20 to 8 now. Prince gets it over to Vines. He gets across the timeline, working, attacking his heel. Pulls up at the free throw line. It's no good. Going up and still finally getting it through was Jonathan Morris. Morris with four points. And the Bulldogs stop a drought. 20 to 10. Cubs setting up now with six minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the first half. 10-point lead by the Cubs. Bulldogs right now playing the waiting game as the Cubs pull back and just play catch with the two guards going back and forth. Going right now, looking over and trying to get to the side, still just going back and forth. Or the Cubs, they're just milking the clock now, down to five minutes and 48 seconds remaining. They've been here for almost a minute now, and no pressure being applied by the Bulldogs. This is one of the advantages and disadvantages of high school basketball that's going back and forth, getting some oohs and ahs, is Williams attacking the cup, and he finally was not able to get through, and Prince guarding him. Draws the foul, took the charge to Prince, and Williams is charged with his first foul. Five minutes and 29 seconds remaining. 
The inbound, the trap in the back for the corner by the Cubs. Panthers and Bulldogs get through attacking his vines. Goes all the way up, draws contact, and he'll go to the line to shoot. That foul will be assessed to the Cubs. That is going to be Mr. Williams again. As this time, Vines will go to the line to shoot two. Vines already with five points. First free throw is good. That's what the Bulldogs have got to do if they want to be attacking on tonight. They've got to hit their free throws. they got to play smart, take high percentage shots. That shot was no good. So it's now 20-11 with 5.15 remaining. In the first half, Cubs on top of the Bulldogs. Cubs going from left to right as they're setting up. That ball was tipped by Prince on the lob pass, and it's going to be out of bounds. But they're going to say that Adams tried to recover from Prince's tip, and it's going to be possession for the Bulldogs. So the Bulldogs bring it across the timeline. Prince quickly setting it up over in the corner. Now back to Vines. Vines attacks. Pro hops, and it's going to be lost on the turnover. And here comes Watson for the Cubs. Cubs going across the timeline. Prince cuts Watson off. Now they'll bounce pass it over back and forth to Williams, trying to find some type of aid right now to penetrate through. Working on the perimeter game are the Cubs. Still, Watson not in any hurry. Being guarded by Prince. Goes, penetrates, gets it off to Adams, misses that shot. Rebound picked up by Prince for the Bulldogs. Prince goes through. Oh, got the dish off, tried to get it, but it was going to be knocked out of bounds by the Cubs, and it's going to be possession for the Bulldogs on the inbound. With four minutes and 21 seconds remaining, the inbound to Hill. Hill works it down low to Morris. Morris turn around. Jumpers no good. The rebound is going to be picked up by the Cubs, and the Bulldogs still trail 20 to 11 with four minutes and 10 seconds remaining in, oh, we got a timeout by the Cubs with 4.06 remaining here in the first half. Cubs on top, 20 to 11. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of student athletics. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Mike Prince here with you as we are here from Brenham, Texas, getting on the way here. Four minutes remaining here in this second quarter. Watson getting the inbound, kind of running around in circles, trying to get it. There's a pick and a steal coming on the attack and getting a layup. It's going to be good for the Bulldogs coming through. With that was Vines. Vines attacking, makes it 20 to 13. And then we got... Another foul. This one is going to go against Vines. Vines picks up his second foul. Foul on the backcourt, non-shooting foul. As the Cubs will get ready to inbound, leading 20 to 13 with three minutes and 40 seconds. The inbound is in, almost stolen by Prince. Coming and attacking is Watson. Watson gets it, throws it over in the corner, kicks it back over, and now rotating. Slowing things up, good cutoff by the Bulldogs on the defensive end. Trying to penetrate and go through. Whoa! What a dunk by number 33, Adams. Coming through with the dunk and got the crowd excited. 22 and getting the layup to fall through for the Bulldogs was Morris. Morris makes it now with six points, 22 to 15, just under three minutes remaining here. And the long three-pointer shot, no good. Rebound picked up by the Bulldogs. Bulldogs get it now. Prince coming across, slows up after he crossed the timeline, swings it over to Vines. Vines gets it all the way over to Charlie Hill. Charlie Hill tried to get it down. Prince makes the save over to Vines. He shoots the three from the corner, no good. Rebound picked up by the Cubs. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the first half. Bulldogs trailing by seven, 22 to 15, in a must-win game for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs need this win to qualify for the playoffs. 
rotating, looking, rolling around now. It's green. Green jumper is no good. The rebound is going to be saved by the Bulldogs, but then knocked out of bounds is Prince. So they're going to call a foul. Actually going to call that foul against Ray, Kendrick Ray. It's a non-shooting foul, or they walk into the other end here. They're actually going to walk down to the other end of the court, and Prince will get a chance to shoot two for the Bulldogs. Prince is one for two from the free throw line. That's his first free throw attempt is good. That's two points for the senior guard, Philip Prince. Makes the score now 22 to 16, Bulldogs trail. Prince's second free throw attempt is up and good. And Prince comes through, has a total of three points. It is now 22-17 with two minutes remaining here in the second period. Cubs coming across, not in any hurry at all. As rotating, taking things across, get it over to Watson. Watson being guarded by McGrew. Coming back, rotating. Now Vines up top, swinging, rotating around again on the perimeter. No hurry for the Cubs. Finally gets it back over to Ray. Ray gets it. And the ball is out of bounds. And it's going to be possession for the Bulldogs. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I had someone just cut right in front. Bulldogs with the inbound, the long outlet to McGrew. McGrew stops, pulls back, gets it to Vines. He thought about shooting it back to McGrew. McGrew tried to get that one in a save. Good shot by McGrew. Underneath the basket by himself, couldn't get the pass. Prince was all alone underneath the basket and coming through with a thunder slam off the mishap. For the Bulldogs, got this crowd in an uproar, was Adams. Adams with the thunder slam, pulling back up. The mid jumper is no good. And the Bulldogs missing the opportunity. Adams got the people up on their feet with the slam to make it 24 to 17 with 45 seconds remaining here. Coming through now, the Bulldogs more than likely will try to defend the Cubs as they set up for this last play. 30 seconds now remaining. 24 to 17 is our score. Pulling back in no hurry. It's going to be green. As they're just setting, slowing things down. Now with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Working now, penetrating, kicks it out. Is Watson, Watson's the long jumper, and that was going to be good for three. As we come to the end, Watson kicks it out to Green. Green nails for three, and at the end of regulation, it is 27 to 17. Cubs on top. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We'll be right back with our third quarter starts. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Halftime just about complete. Bulldogs find themselves in a 10-point deficit right now, trailing 27 to 17 here at the halfway point. Bulldogs in a must-win situation. They have got to win this game if they want to make the playoffs. Right now, the leading score for the Bulldogs is Corbin Vines. Vines has eight points, six points for Jonathan Morris and three points for Philip Prince. Twelve points for Matt Adams, who's the leading scorer for the Cubs. So we get ready now. The Cubs will be going from right to left. They'll get ready for the inbound. As the Bulldogs, of course, will be going from left to right. Back on the defense right now, Vines, McGrew, Prince, Hill. And now they changed up. We'll get the starters back in the rotation here. There's a pick and a steal by Prince. Couldn't get it. And their legs got tangled up. And they're going to call that foul against Prince. That's number three on Prince. And that was a hustle foul against Prince, but that is foul number three 
reached in, had his legs got tangled up as they were going for the ball, and he quickly has three fouls. So he's going to have to play a little cautious now throughout the duration of this game. Cubs back on the attack right now, setting, rotating. All the Cubs attacking, going through was Watson, lost the handle for a minute. He kicks it back out, gets it back up top to Adams. Adams swings the goals up and missing that shot and saving his own rebound was Ray. Ray kicks it back on the outside, and the Cubs will reset things. 27-17, just getting on the way here in the third period. Now Watson tips it off to Ray. Ray back to Watson as the Cubs will slow it down again. Vines come out a little bit. Now the little high low game working, and Prince almost got the steal in, but recovered by the Cubs, and they're just simply playing keep away right now. Coming up, pulling the long jumper is no good. Adams almost did something magical up there in the air on the rebound, but gets it and kicks it back out. He tried to slam that thing while up in the air. So they'll reset it, and more importantly now, they're eating up clock with six minutes and 25 seconds remaining. There's a lower of the shoulder running right over Dorsett was Adam, and they're going to call that foul, and the Bulldogs will have possession with 624, getting the inbound in. Back court pressure by the Cubs. They finally get it back across. Whoa. Prince almost had a back court violation, but get it into the hands of Vine. Vine kicks it back over to Prince. Prince pass was tipped away, but saved by Vine. Vine this is it down low to Morris, and Morris gets his field goal for his eighth point of the evening, and it's now 27-19. Cubs on top of the Bulldogs. Cubs coming back. Slowing things down, not trying to do anything of haste right now or the Cubs. If they have a comfortable 27-19 lead here in the beginning of the second half, that turnaround jump was no good, picked up and saved. Swung out to Prince. Prince will pick it back out to Hill, and there's going to be a reach. Oh, they call it travel. you got to be kidding me. Hill was bumped, literally knocked over by Williams, and then they called the travel. Oh, my. Nonetheless, it will be possession for the Cubs with five minutes and 35 seconds. Cubs in their home whites, green number, as they play the high-low game and keep away will continue. And there's a turnover coming up with it was Dorsett Morris. He tried to handle the ball. He turns it over. And here comes something special. Oh, and it's going to be a foul call. Adams was going up, but... Mr. Vines was like, I don't think so. Vines will pick up foul number three. And Dorsett trying to handle the ball. He had his guard to the left of him. He would have thought they would have worked that one out, but nonetheless a turnover. And now they'll inbound it to Cubs with five minutes and 19 seconds remaining in the third period. Working and rotating are the Cubs. And Prince stops the cutoff almost. Had a little collision with Green, and the Cubs will slow things back down and in. Down to five minutes now in the third period. 27 to 19 is our score. There's a three point shot, and it's good. That one by Devin Williams to make it 30 to 19. And a turnover on the inbound coming up with the glass shot, and the Cubs now separating themselves, another backcourt pressure, and this one is going to be saved. And it is now 32-19, to 19, Cubs having their way with the Bulldogs right now. Prince looking, gets it to Vines. Vines turn around at the top of the key, back over to Prince. Prince bounces it over, and that ball was going to be last touched by the Cubs. And with four minutes and 18 seconds, Bulldogs find themselves trailing 32 to 19. Now, what's dangerous about this is that the Bulldogs got to execute on just about every shot the way the Cubs are playing this game. And turnaround jumper off the inbound is good for Dorset Morris. And Morris now with 10 points on the contest 32 to 21. Bulldogs trailing by 11. Cubs playing keep away. Not in any hurry. Three minutes and 55 seconds remaining. And there's a turnover. Here come the Bulldogs. Prince on the attack. Goes up and gets the basket. 
France with the finger roll with his fifth point, and it's now 32-29. Cubs on top of the Bulldogs. Bulldogs Adams working backcourt, trying to work things out. It is he and Williams attacking now over the jumper is good by Ray. Ray nails that three to make it 35-23, and another backcourt pressure by the Cubs. They're breaking the penetration through now. All the Bulldogs swinging and attacking. Oh, a hard collision. Foul call. Dorset Morris went for the basket, and looks like they're going to call that one against Watson. Watson picks up his third foul and going to the line for the Cubs. I mean, sorry, for the Bulldogs will be Morris. Moore's first shot is no good. 35-23 now. Cubs on top of the Bulldogs. Second shot offered up by Morris. Hits the back of the rim, no good. 0 for 2 from the line was Morris on that attempt. 35-23. Cubs on top. Three minutes remaining here in this third period. Right now, we've got another whistle to be blown. And they're going to call that one on Corbin Vines. Corbin Vines picking up his fourth foul. He picks up his fourth foul as Vines will go to take a seat and McGrew will come in now. So the inbound for the Cubs back into the hands of Adams as they'll slow things down. Whoa, there's collision going all over the place. They ended up on the ground away from the ball, but no one's paying attention to that as Adams dishes that off over to number 31, Flowers, and Flowers gets the basket. And we got another, we got another foul. And this one is going to go back against the Bulldogs. I'm going to call that one against the Bulldogs. Morris picking up the foul. So now rotating all the Cubs. Just playing keep away. That ball was knocked almost out of bounds. The Cubs making the save, getting up at the top, attacking, going to hop, and the jump in the basket is going to be good for the Cubs. That's Williams coming in, making 39-23. Pulling up is McGrew with the midcourt jumper. It's no good. And here come the Cubs again with two minutes and five seconds remaining in the third period. Bulldogs trailing 39-23. to Come in attacking now. Oh, slipping, losing his composer. A minute was Adams. Pull it back out as the Cubs playing Keep away, attacking, almost turn it over and kick it back out to Adams. Adams now being guarded by Prince. Adams swings it over on the far side, goes with Green, and Green is going to be called for. They're going to serve with a foul call. Wow. It's going to be a foul call against Charlie Hill. So Charlie Hill will allow the Cubs to go to the line to shoot, and it will be Williams shooting two. First one is no good. Bulldogs trailing 39 to 23 with 136 remaining in this third period, and the Bulldogs are nine minutes and 36 seconds from their season ending if it continues this way. Second free throw is good by Williams, and it is now 40 to 23. The inbound, a lot of backcourt trapping again by the Cubs. They get the turnover, and getting that basket to fall through will be number 31, Flowers. Flowers with four points to make it 42-23. The Bulldogs coming back, kicking up the jumper, no good. That one was missed by Kelsey. Coming back now as Bowdry in for the Bulldogs replacing Prince. 
Bulldogs back on defense. We're under a minute remaining in the third period, and we've got a whistle blown, and we got a stop at the play. The foul is going to go against McGrew. McGrew picks up his first foul, and that is the 15th foul against the Bulldogs. So now the inbound to Adams. Adams swings it down low baseline by Williams. Williams leaned in to draw the body contact, and looks like going to charge McGrew again with the foul, and this time going to the line. McGrew picks up his second foul. Going to the line will be Williams to shoot two more. And the Cubs on top, 42-23, with 50 seconds remaining in this third period. First shot falls through to make it 43-23, to a 20-point lead for the Cubs. Second shot is good. 44-23, 44-23, pressure, and there's another turnover on the inbound. And here come the Cubs. Oh, my God. Adams skied from the free throw line over Bowdry, but Bowdry was charged with a foul, but Adams was trying to get a highlight reel at the expense of Allen Bowdry. As a result, Adams will go to the line and shoot two. First free throw is good. 45 to 23. Second shot is good. So Adams with 14 points makes it 46 23. And we got a quick whistle to slow things down. As that foul was charged against Williams. Williams picking up his second foul. Now, got to get it across the timeline. The Bulldogs do. McGrew dribbling through, losing the handle. Kicks it out to Adams. Adams shoots the three. It's no good. Rebound on the ground. Picked up, saved by the Bulldogs. Again, they're going to call travel. Oh, my. When it rains, it pours. Travel called against the Bulldogs. 27 and a half seconds remaining in the third period. 46-23, Cubs over the Bulldogs. I mean, working back now, Cubs have really been slow in their process all evening. Shouldn't hurry up now, especially with a comfortable lead. So now down to eight seconds, working, looking for Adams, and they turn around, and that shot is up. It's good, and it's 48 to 23 at the end of three. 48 for the Cubs, 23 for the Bulldogs as we completed the third quarter. Bulldogs season looks like it's coming towards an end as we head to the Fourth quarter, the final chapter, 48-23, Bulldogs Trail. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We start of the fourth quarter, Bulldogs trailing by 25, 48-23. Prince back in as he gets the inbound from Vines. They're coming to work things out. Bulldogs going from left to right in their road maroon. Uniforms to high low over the vines in the corner for three, and that's going to be good as Corbin Vines nails that three for his 11th point of the contest. 48 26 now, Bulldogs trail. They're going to have to apply some pressure and get plenty of turnovers. That ball was almost tipped, but saved by Adams. Going down low, working, just playing keep away now. No hurry as Williams attacks the cup and goes up with the left hand. No good. Rebound picked up by the Bulldogs. Bulldogs coming back across the timeline. Prince looking over in the corner, had Hill try to get it down low. There's a turnover as Hill tried to feed it down low to more. It's a turnover, and the Bulldogs back on the defense right now. 48-26, a long three, no good, 
And a rebound picked up by the Bulldogs. Bulldogs swinging out, attacking, going, laying it up with the left hand. Could not get it to go through was Prince. And coming back to get set up are the Cubs now. Cubs up 48-26, slowing things down. Prince almost had a easy basket, could not get the left hand to go through. They're back on defense right now. Keep away is the name of the game now for the Cubs. As no one is in any hurry. The bounce pass getting the disc to Adams. Adams pulls up. And as he kicked it out, it's going to be a foul call against the Bulldogs. And that is going to go against Morris. Morris picks up foul number two. Is that the free throw line for the Cubs? Going to be number 31. Number 31 being Mr. Darius Flowers. Flowers. Free throws him for second time is no good. Lane violation. And it's going to be the Bulldogs ball. Six minutes and 25 seconds remaining. Bulldogs got to score a lot of points quick, fast, in a hurry as they break through the press. Attacking his vines. Vines dish it off back to Vines, and Vines gets the basket to go through. 13 points for Vines. That is now 48 28, 20 point deficit for the Bulldogs. Cubs coming back. Not going to shoot it. You got to know they're not going to shoot it, so you got to play some intense defense if you're the Bulldogs. Coming back, working now, working, throwing up the shot. No good. And the rebound secured by Morris. Morris gets it back into the hands of Prince. Prince comes across the timeline, swings it over to the corner. He attacking, goes up, it draws contact, and should be going to the line. The shoot would be Charlie Hill. Foul is going to be charged against Flowers. No shooting? Okay, they're going to inbound it. Thought Hill was shooting, the inbound, back in time from in the corner. That was an air ball. Rebound picked up. By the Cubs. I just knew Hill was going to be shooting on that one. But nonetheless, they said he was not shooting. 48-28 is our score. Five minutes and 29 seconds remaining in the contest. Bulldogs trying to make something happen now. Adams being guarded by Prince. They lob it back over to Watson. Watson drags it and pulls it back toward midcourt with five minutes and 10 seconds remaining in the contest. Going through, Prince has the dubious task of guarding Mr. Matt Adams, who has 14 points on the evening and has had some highlight reels with dunks and everything else. Now Adams guarding Prince and going through, could not get that basket. Good defense by Prince coming up with the rebound of the Bulldogs. Gets it up and going, get the basket will be Vines. Vines looked like he was going to give an alley-oop to Morris. Decides to keep it himself as Vines has 15 points on the evening. 48 to 30 now. Bulldogs now trapped a little bit, attacking. They pass to Sue Strong and out of bounds, and it's going to be the Bulldogs' possession. Four minutes and 27 seconds remaining. 18 point deficit for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs might look toward the likes of McGrew, Pilot, and company, the three point shooters of this team. And of course, Mr. Vines is known for knocking some down as well. Prince comes across the timeline, gets it across over in the corner, shooting the three, no good by Hill. Rebound picked up by the top Bulldogs. I'm sorry, by the Cubs. And getting that easy layup for the basket will be Henderson. Henderson makes it 50 to 30, and here come the Bulldogs back with three minutes and 56 seconds remaining in this third, the turnaround jumper from Kelsey is good. Kelsey gets his first points of the evening, 50 to 32. Bulldogs trying to try. Prince checking on Adams again. They'll clear it out and see if Adams can try to do something against Prince. Adams back toward the midcourt now. They got it isolated. He goes through, shakes it over in the corner. That shot from three is good by Ray. 
Ray makes it 53-32. Prince coming. Swings it over to Hill. Hill being guarded. Swings that back across the Vines. Vines goes up from free throw line, and that's good. Vines, 17 points. 53-34. Cubs on top. Watson displaying his dribbling skills. Crossing over back and forth. Vines, but then coming. Gets it to Adams. Adams shoots from the free throw. It's too strong. Rebound picked up by the Bulldogs. Morris credited for that rebound. Coming back now, setting things up. Prince over by himself, but he's not worried about that. To get it, and the shot is going to be good by the Bulldogs, Kelsey. And Kelsey now with four points on the evening. 53-36, two minutes and 25 seconds remaining. Bulldogs on top. Kicking over another three-point attempt from in the corner. That one was too strong. The rebound is going to be, oh, sliding out of bounds. Had to say was the Bulldog, but sliding out of bounds was Williams, and it's going to be possession for the Bulldogs. Cubs had the possession, I said, and slid out of bounds. So with two minutes and 16 seconds remaining, Bulldogs trailing 53 to 36, and more than likely, unless something really spectacular happens, it's going to be the end of a run for the Bulldogs as that mid-jumper was missed by Morris. The jumper shot and good. Whoa! Collision down below between Morris and a Bulldog or a Cub. Meanwhile, the jumper was good for three. So... They're now going to get a Bulldogs opportunity with the inbound as that foul was called. The jumper is thrown up and no good. That one was missed by Pilot. And it is now 53 to 39. As the Bulldogs, Adams shakes Vines, and Vines is going to be called for the foul with one minute and 42 seconds remaining here in the Bulldogs season. Bulldogs had a magical run at one point with five and one. Corbin Vines reeking up his fifth foul, and he is done for the evening. Vines with a total of 17 points on the night. He is fouled out here with 142 in this fourth quarter. So it will send the Bulldogs having to allow Adams to go to the line, shoots the one-and-one, and and it is good. Adams with 15 points on the night. Second shot is up and good. 16 points for Adams. That's the Bulldogs trail, 56, 55, I'm sorry, to 39. Coming, working, Dorset with the baby hook, and it's good. Morris makes it 55-41. Cubs coming back on the top. Morris with 10 points on the evening. As the Cubs, another three-pointer, and that is good. And when it's your night, it's your night. That one was nailed from three by Jackson. And Pilot's three-pointer was no good. And with 60 seconds remaining, to be exact, 61 seconds, 101 remaining, Bulldog season will come to an end. Senior guards, Andy, not Andy, but Corbin Vines, shot was blocked by the Bulldogs. Here comes something. Now, alley oop. Oh, my God. The alley oop to Adams to accent the night, and this crowd goes crazy. This crowd has gone absolutely berserk. Adams with the perfect alley-oop lob for his 18th point on the evening, and it is now 60 to 41. As I was speaking of the seniors, Corbin Vines, Philip Prince, Charlie Taylor, 
and Jordan Pilot. This will be the end of what's been a decent run, but it could have been so much better as that shot missed underneath and finally got through as Trent Thompson gets his basket, gets on the board for the night. And with 20 seconds remaining, the Cubs will go 13-1 and in district play, and the Bulldogs will fall to 7-7. Seven and seven. As we have five seconds on the shot clock, or the game clock, this one winds down, and that is going to be a wrap. The Bulldogs trail 60, or final score is 60, to 43 Cubs with the final. As the Cubs go down to, well, the Cubs don't go down, but the Bulldogs go down to the Cubs, 60 to 43. Matt Adams put on a show tonight for the Cubs. He had a total of 18 points. Last time the Cubs beat the Bulldogs, 53 to 43 in Walla tonight. It was still that same 43 for the Bulldogs as they end up losing 60 to 43. Leading score for the Bulldogs tonight was Corbin Vines. Vines ends up with 17 points. We had 10, 12 points by Jonathan Morris. And you had a total of five points by Philip Prince. Two points by Trent Thompson. Four points by Zach Hamilton. Charlie Hill, no points tonight. That's unusual, strange, but nonetheless, the Bulldogs' season ends at seven and seven in district play, ten and fifteen overall. I want to thank you all so much. I want to remind you as well that the Bulldogs will be having a banquet to give them recognition from basketball play at the the twenty um, fifth of March. 6 p.m. at the gymnasium, or not the gymnasium, but the cafeteria of Walla High School. Bulldog season comes to an end, both guys and girls. And that will give us the conclusion of our basketball season coverage on the high school level. Baseball, softball season right around the corner. As always, we thank you all for joining us and supporting us on our endeavors to bring you high school and collegiate local and regional coverage. I'm Dr. Mike Prince with the Open Mic Broadcast Network. I want to remind you that you can visit our website at obnradio.com and check out all the likings and the going on as we have going on right now. As we sign off for now, and we'll see you next time. God bless. Good night. We'll see you on the other side.